Hey, welcome to Electron Online, and now to summarize what we've learned with the inverse trigonometric identities. So, either you've been given the opposite side and the hypotenuse, or you've been given the adjacent side and the hypotenuse, or you've been given the opposite side and the adjacent side. In each case, you're trying to find the angle. So, in the case of the opposite side and the hypotenuse, remember, opposite side and hypotenuse, that's the sine of theta, because by definition, the sine of theta is equal to the ratio of the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse, which means that theta can be found by taking the inverse sine of the ratio of the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. And in this case, in this example, theta then can be found by taking the inverse sine of the opposite side, which is 5, divided by the hypotenuse, which is 8. And then you grab your calculator, you go 5 divided by 8 is, then you take the inverse sine of that, and you get 38.7 degrees. So therefore, theta equals 38.7 degrees. In this case, you realize you've been given the adjacent side and the hypotenuse. So adjacent hypotenuse, that means the cosine of theta. So I say that the cosine of theta, by definition, is the ratio of the adjacent side divided by hypotenuse, which means that the angle can be found by taking the r cosine, or the inverse cosine, of the ratio of the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse, which means that theta can be found by taking the inverse cosine of the adjacent side, which is 2, hypotenuse, which is 3, and so therefore theta is equal to, and again you grab your calculator, you go 2 divided by 3 is, take the inverse cosine, and you get 48.2 degrees. 48.2 degrees. And finally, if you're given both the opposite and the adjacent side, you're not given the hypotenuse, then you use the tangent. You realize that the tangent of theta, by definition, is equal to the ratio of the opposite side divided by the adjacent side, which means that theta can be found by taking the arc tangent, the inverse tangent, of the ratio of the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. In this case, that's equal to the arc tangent or inverse tangent of 4 divided by 10, and then again, you grab your calculator, you go 4 divided by 10, and then you take the inverse tangent of that, and you get 21.8 degrees. So theta equals 21.8 degrees, and that's how we do that. So depending upon what they give you, you either pick the arc sine, the arc cosine, the arc tangent. Remember, notice how I say arc sine, that's another way of saying inverse sine. So the arc sine or inverse sine, the arc cosine or inverse cosine, or the arc tangent, or the inverse tangent, same thing, and that's how you find the unknown angle.